The search for a suspect is on tonight after a sexual assault on the Oregon Rotary Bike Trail. Good evening, I'm Lance Fieser. And I'm Amber Noggle. The Dane County Sheriff's Office says it happened just after 5 p.m. yesterday. The victim told police she was walking on the trail when she was tackled by a man who sexually assaulted her. Tony Galley spoke with authorities and a woman who helped the victim. He joins us live from where this all went down with the very latest on the investigation. Tony. Lance and Amber, there have consistently been walkers on this path most of the time we've been out here, and it was within an hour of this time and in broad daylight that authorities say a man did tackle a woman here and sexually assaulted her. The bike trail here snakes along the water and then up to higher ground as you travel a mile or so. But Dane County Sheriff's officials say this attack took place near Highway D, the portion of the path closest to a parking lot. A sheriff's official says the victim spotted the man before the attack and his appearance or demeanor made her leery and he did attack, with authorities saying the woman was able to eventually get away. She was able to uh, fight off the attacker and get to a, a nearby home and call 911. She had some grass in her hair, I noticed that, um, and I think like just a little bit of dirt on her. It was she wasn't like completely disaster, but you can tell something happened. She was definitely roughed up. Kaylee Phillips says she tried to comfort the victim when she showed up at her door as Phillips's father tried to locate the suspect. Now, authorities believe that the suspect left via a car and they describe him tonight as white, five foot ten, slender build with a scruffy beard and was wearing a neon yellow hoodie. And coming up tonight on 27 News at 5, Kaylee Phillips describes more of her encounter with this desperate, traumatized victim. Reporting live from the town of Oregon, Tony Galley, 27 News. A scary incident, Tony, thank you.